And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet. <laughs> and, this is and he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Theo Riddick taking it in from four yards out. And the Lions use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, he's to sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one of our guys. But she's singing too. Oh, she's she, yeah, she's, at she's least, on like the fifth tune. At yeah, this point. She, she left scales way behind. But he's to sing something about turning out the lights. The party was over. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. That one good for 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now, that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now, if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Manning the throw on second down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. And looking at this play from the running back's perspective, as it developed, I know he had to think to himself, oh, no, here they come. Here's Brad Wing now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. And some room to maneuver. And now running right through it. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. The Lions.
Lions on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and six. From the gun, here's Stafford. And he connects with Ebron. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. the 25 to the 26 a gain of five so where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here someone made some adjustments it appears at least on this drive second down following the run He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. way forward up to the 22. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Like any team, they would have loved to have had more yards on that run, but it looks like they just want to get to the two-minute warning and see what they want to do after that. And you would have to think an obvious passing situation here on third and nine. going there as he'll get it up to the 23 yard line only a yard on the pick up there and it's going to leave him with a fourth down here comes the Lions punter now as he's on here to punt it away Catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly every... And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Haloni Nata. Never giving up. He's able to keep working and get him for a loss of 12. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a very short pick up there across the 15 to the 16. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Manning now to throw. He finds Beckham complete. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. 
as he'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Manning now on first down. Looking for his receiver sharp and it's intercepted. It's the 2014 NFL interception leader, Glover Quinn. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.